So believe it or not, there are some pretty big iPhone changes that are about to be happening. Now, I couldn't really believe that this was happening at this time because there's been so much news and stuff about so many app store changes, specifically with ads and everything coming. But Apple actually now is introducing the biggest upgrade to app store pricing they've ever done, according to themselves. They are adding 700 new price points. Now, why is this big? Why is this even important? Well, before, the most expensive application that was pretty much existing on the Apple ecosystem was pretty much $1,000. You could go and purchase an app upwards to $1,000, and there were some increments here and there of like, you know, price steps of what they were kind of telling us, but now they have added way more price points. Now, I think most of us are kind of used to the 99 cent, you know, app store price. If there's an application for sale, usually it's 99 cents, a dollar 99 or 99 times out of a hundred, we are downloading free applications. These are applications that are completely free. You can download them, you know, without having to buy or purchase anything. Usually there's advertisements or built, you know, in app purchases, but usually we don't have to buy the application. There's a few, you know, notably for myself games. There's been some video editing software like LumaFusion. There's been some audio editing software, I think like Hayuka editor or whatever it's called. And that is another application that, you know, I personally bought. So I think it's cool that developers are now getting the chance to actually go ahead and have a little bit more flexibility with their price tags. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a lot more, like maybe like randomized price points. They say you can go and upgrade your price tag for every 10 cents up to $10, then every 50 cents between 10 and $50. And then, you know, et cetera, they kind of say that. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, why is this important? Well, I am not too sure why an application would cost $10,000. Now, I can think of, you know, certain situations if there's like some like specific business software that has to cost that much. I mean, there's a lot of software out there that costs thousands and thousands of dollars. There's probably software that costs millions of dollars to develop. But in this case, I'm not too sure on an iPhone why you would need that, or at least even on an iPad. I was thinking maybe like medical software, if there's like something that a doctor needs in like quick time that they need to go ahead and like, you know, show to somebody and it's like a piece of software, then I can think of cases like that. But I think what actually may end up happening is, and this may be a stretch, but I do think Apple is probably going to end up bringing some sort of like iPhone upgrade system. Maybe like you can even buy your iPhone through the app store rather than going through and buying it, you know, via the app Apple application or the app store, Apple store application. I think Apple may start implementing and releasing and, you know, creating hardware on the app store that you can actually buy and they'll ship it to you. They already have your credit card information. They already have your shipping information. I think that's probably what's going to end up happening. So I would not be surprised if Apple said, Hey, you know, you can now buy your iPhone or you can now upgrade your iPhone or you can buy AirPods or other things straight from the app store and they'll ship it to you. It'd be pretty crazy, but I think that's probably what's going to end up happening. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.